now that the men are weak, most men are weak and beta, how do you get past this? How do you overcome this? How do you be a real man? How do you be a husband and a father? We are such a matriarchal society and we hate the patriarchy so much that we, we kick men out of the conversation and then that turns into hate and vitriol and that turns into bad family and then more men ousted and we've created mother nature and mother earth. And we're such a matriarchal society that we don't even realize that we created a single mother, you know, with too many kids and she can't handle it. The overpopulation. So who's going to come in and rescue? Well, not God the Father. The government will come in. Bingo. Don't worry. The government's going to come in. The barbarians at the door. We are living through what will be a very challenging time. We will see challenging times. Huh? And when shit hits the fan, reality exposes itself. We're exposing the enemy. We can't take this back until we expose the enemy for what it is and to say no. That has been the biggest challenge. That has been where we've drop the ball as men is because we're too acceptant. We're too tolerant. I'm calling for intolerance for evil. We need to be able to properly identify with the definition, what is masculinity? A big part of it is being able to recognize objective standards, boundaries, and expectations. Something about drawing the line. You were seeing ideals torn down. We're saying that there can't be the best of anything. You know, no one wants to say what is good and what is bad. I think men naturally like hierarchy. Uh, they want something to be above and something to be, you know, so they have a direction to shoot for. We move away from this kind of hierarchy into this flat, linear peer orientation. We lose our rooting, not only as, as a civilization, but even people as individuals. And it's really hard because everything about the way society is structured right now is geared toward peer orientation. Technology structures us that way. Breakdown of the nuclear family structures us that way. You see it everywhere and you realize how dangerous it is and how important it is for families to be oriented toward each other and maintain and build their own cultures as opposed to letting your kids have everything about who they are be determined by their friends. We're at a point in life where we need men to stand up and do heroic things. And we can say that, and you know, all pe people also need to do that. Yeah. We, we have very big monsters out there. We have guys who are actually like doing the work uh, to slay them. The, the weight of the world is, is too much to carry for one man. No matter how big and strong you are, no matter what battle you're fighting, it's always good to have brothers around you. Mm -hmm. you know, they, they make you better. Mm -hmm. um, and I've learned that. The tribe of the gym, that, mm -hmm. that important aspect of, of building a, a tribe of people who are of like mind, who you can depend on, who hold you accountable, who will call you on your BS. Um, and I don't think that there's enough of that today. I've always wanted, like, I love connecting things and people, ideas, physical things, people, all this stuff. And this event is the ultimate culmination of that for me. It's really amazing. It's some of the most, it's easily the, some of the most unique work going on in America, I think. I agree. And no one else is talking about it. I call the official tagline for now with 21 Convention is America's last stand for masculinity. Mm -hmm. I think it is. The event, and it's as a reflection of the manosphere, really. Sure. The event is the event, but the event is the heart of the manosphere as I see it. Mm -hmm. But when you listen to these men speak, they're some of the most educated, well-versed, experienced men where you can ask them any question and you're going to get an amazing answer. Obviously the criticism of these kinds of things is like they're just for pickup artists or whatever, which that right. hasn't been the case at all uh, this year. Uh, nothing, almost nothing had to do with that at all. You know, it's more about men improving themselves and that's why I've always liked the 21 Convention. Mm -hmm. With this conference, it definitely fills me with an energy that I have never got anywhere else. What do you what do you do for yourself? Every day you do some self-love and you read a book and you're trying to always be better. Why not do this thing and be around other people who read the book and do the thing and and maybe it'll help you sling and take that aim for the next year. You know, you got to you got to make the investment whether it's your time, your money. You, know, you come out to something like this. And and you don't just come out and attend. You come out and you consciously attend. You exchange numbers, you discuss ideas, you put yourself out there. You know, you don't be afraid to jump into a conversation and start talking with these people because people who are coming here are coming here to discuss big ideas, important ideas. You're not gonna have that opportunity going to the bar on a Friday night. 
not just talking about being masculine, but okay, you've done all the self-development, what are you gonna do with it? At 21 Summit, we're making men alpha again, rebuilding the patriarchy, and making women great again. Change you can believe in.